Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Ada. Hello, Juan Pablo. Today, we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to be looking at this section right here. Today, we're going to be looking at section number three. Where are you from? And you will be doing midterm exam so that Monday we start with section four. This is gonna be for Monday, right? So we're gonna go ahead and jump on section number three today, which is this section over here. Where are you from? In this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes, no questions and WH questions, which we will learn in the future lessons. In esta clase, escucharán una conversación titulada, ¿Eres tú de Seoul? Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuestas sí, no, y las preguntas interrogativas cuales aprenderemos en futuras lecciones. Listen to the conversation, please. My family is in California now, but we're from Korea. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay. Now, for this activity, what you're going to do is you are going to look at the conversation and you are going to write a similar conversation like this conversation. You are going to write a similar conversation here. You're going to go to the discussion. You're going to go to add a post. And you are going to write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Does somebody have a question? Escribamos y que que practiquemos y que escribamos la conversación. No, only write, only write the conversation. That is correct. Yo una pregunta. En caso las de la conversación tenemos que poner las preguntas todos con los los seis tipos de preguntas que hay. That is correct. Similar to the conversation. Similar conversación. Similar to the conversation, that's right. Only the conversation, like this one. Similar to this one. Where are you from? You can say, are you from Mexico? Carlos, right? You can change the names. Jacqueline Sosa, Lisette Flores, Liz Palma.
cambiando. Eh, no, nombres. Ah. Ajá, nombres. Ok. Ah, pues entonces, hagámoslo. Ok. Déjeme ver, yo. Que está algo lento, quizás por la lluvia. Ah, está lloviendo fuerte donde usted vive. Piense que ya no, pero, pero, pero se pone quizás en algo a, alrededor o algo porque se siente que está el internet todo lento. A ver, ¿entendería que donde dice la conversación a Jufron Seúl? Esa entonces vamos a hacer una igual en vez de Tim, otro nombre, Jessica, otro nombre, etc. Sí, ¿verdad? sí porque él dijo a similar conversation. Entonces. Ajá, similar conversation. Vamos Bye. a hacer una conversación similar. Entonces comencemos. A ver, comencemos. ¿Y usted la trabaja en la plataforma o en la aplicación? En la plataforma. Mm, sí. Uh -huh. Ahí estábamos hablando con Jacqueline y uh -huh. Andrea creo que era que la, que la aplicación se, se cierra, saber por qué. Ah, ya. Si tiene dudas, un gusto. No sí, gracias. Ok. Estaba pensando... O sea, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, Jennifer dice, are you from Guatemala, Patty? Así sería, ¿verdad? Are you from Guatemala, Patty? Entonces, uh -huh. Patty tendría que contestar, si lo sigo igual, ¿verdad? Porque ¿Sí? well, well es, creo, bien, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, vaya, bien. Mi, my, my family o mi familia es... Bueno, en el caso sería, eh, el primero sería Virginia. Yo le pregunto, where are you from, México? Andrea, ella me contesta, Will, my family is in Mexico now, but we're from eh, Salvador. Uh -huh. Originales. Uh -huh. Originales de Original. Salvador. Uh -huh. Y en la otra donde dice, oh, my, my mother is Korean. Eh, from Seoul, are you from Seoul? Entonces como que ahí le dice va, oh mi madre es coreana, eh, como le dice que es en San, como en Seúl, le pregunta Ay, no, que no, de no. dónde es, es ella. 
Quizás o sea, es, como es, es como una, una parte de, de Corea, ajá, es una de parte Corea, como ajá. que diga aquí. En este caso sería una parte de aquí, ajá, de, del Salvador. De, como que digamos de San Salvador, de no, como Salvador. usted decía, de, me, de, de la Unión, dijo usted, ¿verdad? Usultán. Ajá, por, le, ajá, le puede poner, ajá, oh, my mother is, is eh, el Salvador eh, from oh. la Unión. Okay, guys, I know everybody is not finished. I know everybody is not finished. However, we have to continue with the activity. That is going to be your homework, homework. Now we're gonna look at section 3.2, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to form negative statements and yes, no questions with the be verb. Listen, please. Not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums.
you're not. Okay, now for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and we're going to go to the discussion forum and you are going to write a similar uh, examples. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is Mr. Santos your teacher? Yes, he is. Are you happy? Yes, I am. So you're going to write five examples here in the discussion forum with the B verb. Do you understand? Any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Nobody. Okay. Ready, go. Go, go, go. Engineers. An engineer. Engineer. Son ustedes. Y ahí sería. No, I'm not. You, no. Yo en. Not I am. ¿Verdad? Sí, no, o I am not. O I am not. No, I'm not. No. No. Um, Yo siempre tomo captura para ver el ejemplo, pero no hay no. Así es. Are you, podemos poner Are you Brasilian? ¿Tú eres de Brasil? Brasilian? No, it's not. Sí, se puede. Are you from Italy? No, no. no. Are you Brazilian? Dijo, ¿no? Ajá, Brazilian. Eres tú Brazilian. No, I am not. No, I am not. Are you dancing? ¿Cómo? Are you uh, dancing? Are you? Uh, are you dancing? Are you de bailar. Dancing. Well, you dance? Uh, 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 yes. Yes, I am. No, para poner una afirmativa. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. I am. Así es. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí, así es. Yes, I am. Aquí estoy viendo el ejemplo. Ajá. Sí. Tres, faltaría cuatro. Ahorita vamos por la cuatro. Are you family from Is Canada? your family? Uh, ¿Es tu perro? ¿Es tu perro? Are, are you? And you family from Canada? Yes. Is your family? Is your family? Uh -huh. Is your? Is your family? family? Is your family? Uh, from Canada. Sí, así es. From Canada. He's my dog. Yes, yes, my dog. So you say yes. Yes, my dog. No. No, it's not. Not, it's not. Mm -hmm. 
Podemos colocar en otra. Ella, no. Ella, ella. Are you family from Canada? Le damos un poco en vez de are you y tenemos they, we o algo por el estilo. Como. Y si podemos poner y si a a liar o y si a a teacher, por ejemplo, y podemos poner en la respuesta yes she is. Ajá, sí, ella es. Preguntar si ella es. Exacto. Yo digo para ver un poco las preguntas. Ah, no, no solo sí, el are you. Are you. Uh -huh. Entonces. Sí, cambiando un poco el you, podemos poner que sí. Ah, pero, um, ajá. Pero, uh, 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 ajá. O is he teacher. Entonces, ¿cómo poner que sí es? Ella es, ajá. O is, is. She, como is, is, is he. he. She, is he o she. He, vea. She. Is she a pero, teacher. Oh. Sí. sí, sí, puede ser así. A teacher. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, no, yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, he. No, she is. Podemos colocar también. She is. Santos, teacher. Y podemos poner yes, she is. Ah, yeah, sí. Yes, he is. Entonces, y, she, he is. Is Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos. Your teacher. No, eh, bueno, ¿es Mr. Santos el teacher? Yes, he is. Mr. Santos. Porque he es el... De, 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 como de él. Entonces sería... Is it... Your is, book. Is, ajá, correcto, sí. Is it, 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 it your book? Uh -huh. Y ahí sería no, no it. Ajá, uh -huh. is it your book? Ajá, es tu libro, o sea, es tu libro, estaríamos pronto. Uh -huh. ¿Es, es ese tu libro? ¿Es es it? Is it a, is it as a, is it a, que yo sepa. Y la respuesta sería cuál, it is not, o como, o solo no. Quiero decir ya. No, it yes, is. Eh, para contestar es vamos a ver ya yes yes it's yes no it's. Not no. is not. Not is not. Quería yo. No, it's not. Ah. Uh -huh. Si no me equivoco, porque eso lo vimos en la clase pasada. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Not. No, it is not. No, no, solamente sería, creo yo que sería no, it's not. Not, it's not. No, no es. No es. Ajá, no, 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 no es. es. Esa es la respuesta. Ajá. Bye. Y la cuatro sería...
podemos poner esta... que si están ellos trabajando. ¿Cómo sería Ardeibea? Are, are they working? Are they, are they are they working? No, porque como estamos diciendo ellos, no podemos usar el your, porque el your es como, como de uno. Yes. Are, are, are they working? Como están ellos trabajando. Uh -huh. Ajá, solo que la respuesta sería... No. Uy, en la 4 me, me quedé, no copié, solo puse la, la respuesta. La... Right, guys, I know you are not finished, but that is going to be your homework. That is going to be your homework if you are not finished. Now, for the next activity, what we are going to do is we are going to practice using the be verb. Instrucciones, instructions, complete the conversations, write the correct answers. Number one, conversation one, Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Sorry. Okay. Regresamos. Regresamos. Entonces vamos a contestar este, las... La actividad 3.4. Sí. Entonces la primera dice... Oh. Ah, no, sí, era... Sí, we are. Era we are. Yes, we are. Sí, ahora dice... Oh. Are, are, you, from, from, are you from Tokyo? Creería que es. No, ajá. Ajá, ¿verdad? ¿Eres sí. de Tokio? Sí. Y aquí le voy a poner eh, no. Así ya es. No. Ay, no. Pero aquí sería plural. plural. Ahí dice entre paréntesis plural. 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 Entonces es no. Are not. Si es plural, no are not. Dice, are from Tokyo, esto no se conoce, are from, pero ahí are from, pero no, are not, no, pero no, no puede ser, ¿verdad? Aquí, quiero ver. Es que, pero no tiene secuencia la... ¿Un microphone Japón? ¿Qué es, güey? Es que aquí había en una unidad estaba esa explicación. ¿Qué le dice? Pero es que si ahí dice, se contesta, si es en plural, yes, y luego es we are, o de yar, o you are. Entonces en este caso tendría que ser no, you are not. Ah, yo no creo que sería. Uy. Yo... Porque se complementa. No, y es plural. No, you are not. Pero mire usted ahí, tal vez tenga algo más. Sí, quiero, quiero buscar ese nombre. Ajá. Que no me quedó claro esto. Sí, quiero ver acá. Sería... No sé qué. Ah, que es una sola conversación. 
No, you are not. Uh, ¿Qué le pregunta? Oh, ¿eres tú de Tokio? Ahí entonces. No. Siempre utilizando el verbo plural. Ay, oh, aquí se me confundió un poco. Lo que pasa es que si ahí le pone plural es como que estuviéramos contestando. Entonces aquí sería como... Pero lo tenemos que contestar en plural, entonces sería word. Ah. Mm. Dice, oh, are you from? Porque no vamos a poner we you ni they you, ¿verdad? No. Ni I you, entonces sería, are you from Tokyo? ¿Son ustedes, son ustedes de Tokio, sería? No. No. Eh, ah, no pero... somos de Tokio. Uh -huh. Aquí es el piso. Ay, nos confundimos. No entendemos ahí. Quiero ver. Quiero ver, dice. No. Words. No, 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 no. Yo, sí, yo. 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 Are, bueno, para mí, vea, no sé. No, you are not. Y para no. usted, yes. Jennifer. Yo creo, yo creo que eh, es que no sé cómo responderlo en pluralizado. Sería no. No sé, tengo. Are you bueno. from ah, word? Yo... Not word. Eh, eh, Podemos usar eh, no words. No sé, solo que no recuerdo. No, porque si ahí dice que es plural, tendríamos que, que, are you from, otra vez, o they from, sí. es plural, o we're from. We're from. So, ajá, son de Tokio, we are from. Ellos son de Tokio, no sé, Tokio, no sé, es Kyoto, algo así. Uh -huh. Porque dice plural. Pero es completamente la red. O sea, tiene que ver toda la conversación, me parece. ¿Verdad? ¿O no? Sí. sí. Ah, va. Vale. Entonces, ver, Quiero ver. Ah, oh, está la red. Oh. La conversación. Yo creo que tendríamos que haber practicado más. Sí, son. Son. Digamos, son. ¿Eres de Tokio? No. No soy. No, no lo soy. Entonces así sería, are you, are you from Kyoto? Ah, no, y en la última le está contestando, le contestaría quizás, ¿verdad? Ah, ya me equivoqué, no sé. <ríe> y no hay signo tampoco de interrogación, Jenny. Vaya, dice aquí, me cuida. I know. Y si le podemos, I know, not, I know, y, la, y probemos si nos sale bueno. Yo en la B le puse you are. No, you are not. Y en la donde dice from eh, Kyoto sería entonces, no tiene signo de interrogación, entonces no le puede preguntar. Tampoco le está, con, de ahí tendríamos que volver a preguntar, entonces... Ay, no, ahí ya me equivoqué. ¿Qué hacemos allí? Bueno, pasemos a otra. ¿O cómo la va a dejar ahí, Jennifer? Ay, no, oigo. No, oigo. Voy a pasar a esta, dice acá. 
Perdón, tenía el micrófono apagado. Sí, por eso le decía, no entendía nada. Y explicándole lo que estaba haciendo. No. Bueno, sí, voy a seguir con la segunda conversación. Ah, porque solo es que en la conversación es Hiroshi y Michael. Es de dos personas. Uh -huh. Oh, are you from time? I say, no, you are not. Uh... All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and check the activity. <laughs> okay. Number, the next one is no, <coughs> no, we are not. We're not. Mm -hmm. We're from Kyoto. Is Laura from the U.S.? Mm -hmm. No, she's not. She's from the U.K. No, she's not. Is she from London? No, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. Mm -hmm. They are not from U.K. originally. Is Laura's first language Italian? No, it's not. It's English. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they're not. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and move forward and look at lesson 3.5. By the end of this class, you will become familiar with syllable stress. Now, for this activity, you're going to go to Boca Roo and you are going to record yourself, okay? You're going to record yourself right here. You're gonna say, for example, 11, you're gonna say 11, oh, sorry. Vocaru. You're going to record yourself saying the numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, like this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're going to record yourself. Guardar y compartir. Then you're going to copy. And then you're going to come over here and paste the vocaru recording right there. You are going to pronounce the numbers 11 to 100. Listen, please. Forty. Stress in some words. Then much, much. Every, 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 fewer, 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 fewer. Sorry, we're having a, uh, I gotta reset this. One second, please. Stuck, OK. 
Okay, 3.6. Okay. Forty. Fifteen. Fifty. Sixteen. Sixty. If you hear all the numbers starting at thirteen, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30 you'll have you'll stress the first syllable this is the reason why whenever you hear a number you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50 now is your turn to practice pronunciation I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com after that you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, so right now I want you to record yourself here. And then I want you to share the link here in the discussion forums. Does anybody have any questions? That is correct. From the first number, You're going to do numbers from 11 to 103. That's correct. Okay. That is correct. Let's go. Uh -huh. Aunque si quiere, practiquemos para ver eh, la pronunciación. Ok. Vale, vamos diciendo, ajá, el primero, 11. 11. 12. 13. 13. 14. 15. 15. 16. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. Algo así, señor. Creería. Sí, porque ahí dijo 30. De ahí 40, 40. 40. Pero aquí al llegar al 30 sería 30, 31, 32, Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, sixty, fifteen. Es como soplo, soplo de fifty, verdad? Sixteen. Ajá. Porque, porque si no diría fixing como 15 años, ¿verdad? Ajá. Como 15. Ajá. Entonces es fixing. Ajá. 51, 60. 60, Seventy, porque el otro es seventeen, vea. Mm -hmm. El diecisiete, okay. Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy seventy four, seventy five, seventy el otro es sería no lo puedo ver. Bien. 90 es una. Sería 19. 19, ¿verdad? Ajá, 19. 90, 91. 90. Tengo, tengo mis dudas con esa pro, con la pronunciación del 90. Sí, porque 19 es 19. 19, uh -huh. ¿verdad? 1890 sería voy a pronunciar 90 mil 90 mil 90 90 90 90 90 90 Sí, porque aquí le escucho yo como que fuera 90. 90. Sería 90 o 90. ¿Cómo lo diría, quiero, quiero, quiero poner aquí el audio. 90. Ajá. Como 90. Ajá, 90. Bocaro.com y ahí se va a grabar. De una vez que se termine de grabar este link, le da 
copiar y lo pega en el cuadrito donde hacemos las, las, las preguntas. Uh -huh. Ajá, le pone su nombre, pega ahí el link y de ahí lo sube. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. No me carga esta página. Se puede acceder a este sitio web. Vocabulario.com, dijo usted. No, es Bocaro. Bocaro, con dos o al final, punto com. Ahí se va a grabar. Cuando ya termine de grabar, se suelta. Ajá. Bocaro. Ajá, ¿cómo? como que escribe boca, pero con, con V. Y luego va una R y luego dos O. Punto com. Suelto caro. En la primera sería. Oh, oh, on voice record. Oh, on voice record vocal. Karen. Ah, ya, ah, ya lo encontré. Ya le ah, pues ya voy, encontró, oh, sí. Sí, mire, y entonces tenemos que... que... Uno solo vamos a mandar. O, no, cada, cada quien, quien lo va a grabar. No, cada quien se va a grabar porque ahorita solo es como practicarlo, la, la pronunciación. Cabal sería 11, 12, ¿cómo es? 12, 12. Sí, 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, no, 19, ajá, 19, 20, vea. Hola. Ya estamos en el. All right, guys. I know that you're not finished, so that's going to be your homework. So what I would like for us to do next is we're going to be looking at the following one, which is coming from the next section. In this section, you are going to look at a conversation. This is the conversation. This conversation. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? So what you're going to do is you're going to record the conversation here on Boca Roo. You're gonna record the conversation on Boca Roo. Hi. Who's that? Your brother. He's cute. And then you are going to put the recording over here. Like that. that. That's my brother. Wow. He's cute. How old is he? Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Va corriendo hoy, veo yo. Sí, vamos corriendo, que habrá examen la otra semana. No, probablemente. Ok. Sí, Charlie, sí, abuelo. <risa> yeah. Es que no, tenemos que terminar la sección 3 
y es que el lunes tenemos que empezar ya con la sección 4. Mm. Okay. ¿Tenemos que, perdón, que no escuché? Empezar con la sección 4. Oh. ¿Y el examen? Todavía no. Y también el ex tenemos que hacer el examen el, el del medio. ¿El lunes? Siempre, sí. la otra semana. No, este lo van a hacer entre, entre fin de semana, la 3 y el midterm. Uh -huh. Teacher, si yo no hice lo del abecedario, no hice eso del vocabulario que íbamos a grabar. Eso ah, tiene, tiene que hacerlo, sí, en el Boca Rule lo tiene que grabar y pegarlo ahí en el discussion forum. Porque fíjese que a mí me parece como que lo hubiera hecho todos, pero no me parece. No. Eh, siempre estoy con pendiente. Ok, sí, No recuerdo haber hecho eso yo y voy a tener que revisar. Sí, sí. Entonces, okay. Démosle pues mientras no nos sacan porque ya va a ser hora. ¿Quién empieza? Who's right. that? Who's yeah. that? Who's that? Who's that? Uh -huh. Who's that? It's my brother. Who? She's good. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, ya no pongas acá. Where's is my... Okay, guys, now what you're going to do for the weekend is you are going to finish, you're going to finish all section three. Okay, you're going to finish section three. And then Monday, we are going to start the midterm exam. No, 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 you're going to do the, the midterm on the weekend. Monday, we're going to start the section four. So your homework is section three and the midterm exam. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Do, you have, do you have any questions? Yes. yes. Okay, so this is what no, you're going to yes. do. All section three and the midterm exam. O sea, terminamos lección tres y luego examen. Y el examen del midterm. Miedo. Okay. That's right. And okay. Monday, Monday, we will start section number four. Cool. All right. Bye-bye, guys. You have a good weekend. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.